Okay, so uh, I'm Roman Pavluk, SoftSurf, and I'm gonna be talking today about the projects we call the names Varok, and why we're gonna see in the latest latest slides. Um, so uh, first of all, let me introduce myself as a speaker. I'm working in IT branch for almost uh, 12 years and 10 years with SoftSurf, and doing operations like everybody do here uh, for almost eight years. And we start with operations, then was DevOps, and then what's gonna come next after DevOps, we probably can assume. And so, uh, Svarok, why Svarok? Um, this is, uh, there was a, we have a, this code to environment chain as a piece of the long uh, continuous delivery chain. And we decided in the lab, we developed the tool that speeds up. And we gave the name to it as Svarok. This is the ancient Slavic god of blacksmithing. So you take the any raw piece of metal and make a very good thing. And so um, first of all, um, the idea. The idea is that you have any type of source code. You have its compiler, Maven, and uh, make whatever else is. And then you just add some tiny framework, you configure it, and you have uh, the benefit. And so initially, we created the tool as a some lab script that just quickly builds the RPM packages. And then, as it always happens, everybody starts loving it. So it starts to be a tool that is widely used in a soft serve. And why actually people start using it and when? So when it comes like, I need to, I have some Java tool that I need to quickly package and deploy it. Oh, I just need to show that to cover this continuous delivery uh, path uh, uh, for our client. This is when you start using it. So as, as I said, continuous delivery is a long thing, but a very small block of it is the tool that we develop. And, um, so what does this tool make uh, does and is it the other the other make tool it's no so you still use and you still use maven you, you can use rake whatever else you use but on top of it yes you can make packages and debian's rpms uh, any other types package you invent at uh, this is what you do with that tool its usage is simple. You format the source code by adding specific files and configuration and run a Svarok command. Svarok will look for make file with extension Svarok, which is specifically formatted. It's a key value file. And uh, it, will, it, starts, it will start bringing and building uh, the packages and repositories, either RPM or Debian, depending how you define it and depending what system you run. What does it mean like specifically formatting the file, uh, the source code? It means that you add the spec files and you have, oh. Okay, let me continue the some microphone. So you have, uh, so, so the the exam. Yes. Okay. So uh, we currently support uh, we currently support uh, YAM repository and RPM packages as well as we support Debian plus um, Aptitude and of course the source code can be pulled either from some version Git or any other source uh, control system, as well as the, any other packaging system. Well, that's because uh, it's a plugin based tool. And of course, how it's written, it's written in Bash plus Python. Well, no assembly, it's just kidding. And you can get it from our GitHub community that also runs. We are going to open source the tool, but right now, because it contains a few pieces of code that we're still negotiating uh, to make it open source, it's it's free by by request. So just drop an email, uh, find me on Twitter. I will give you access to this tool, and you will try it. And probably you will find the benefit as we did. Thank you.